Hello guys, what is up? It's Phoenix here again and today we are doing some League of Legends. Now, on the opposite team we have Vayne, Ramus, Rice, Hammerdinger and Mas Yi. On my team we have Brand, um, Katarina, Ash, Gangplank and me playing as Pantheon, the mighty 300 Spartan warrior. So, my summoner spells are Revive and Haste. I believe it's called Haste. Uh, I think so. Yeah, I haven't really played um, League of Legends in quite a long time um, and I'm not really down with the terminology that people use. Now, if I'm playing a pre-mid, I really do suggest that the entire team gets revived because instantly reviving instead of waiting 40 seconds can be the difference between actually winning or losing a battle. Simply because if you can get back and stop them from capturing your tower, it's a lot easier. So. Um, we actually did quite well in this match and you know I don't understand why the replay um, you have to wait for the loading screen still but the match is very short as you can see we're already um, you know quite a way in so as for my abilities that I pick up I pick up my Q W and E the reason I do this is because my um, E ability basically improves my spear shot and my edges of Zonia Zonia yeah so, you know, Pantheon is a strong. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Sorry about that. Pantheon is a strong character simply because of his stun. Now, when you can stun um, a target, you know, it stops them from casting all their abilities. And even if they're channeling abilities, stun them. And you can just interrupt them. Like um, Nunu, he's trying to cast his ultimate, interrupt him, ultimate wasted. Same with um, Morgana. And a lot of the other champions, you know, if you can stun them, then they can't do a thing. And you know, their um, you know their ultimate is just wasted. So, um, me, Brand, Katarina, and Ash are actually going to the top, and uh, Gangplank's going to the bottom simply because Gangplank can heal, so he should be able to hold off the um, bottom quite well. Um, I did want Ash to basically go for this tower, but instead. Um, Ash didn't, Brand does, but you know, still, um, I, the way I was thinking about it is, you know, it'd be better to have Brand, who's up there, who's just, you know, can do strong AoE damage, and have Ash come in later on, but instead, them two collect it, but it doesn't really make much difference, so, coming up to our side, we've got Ramus, um, Master Yi, and um, Rise. at the bottom we've got Hammerding and Vayne, so, you know, the plank has to be careful here. So we're basically taking this over and we're just waiting for them to come closer now. And let's see what Gangplank's doing, he's just hiding in the bushes. And here, you know, I jump in, I stun, I use uh, my E and I use my Q and, you know, Katarina comes in and finishes him off. So I'm chasing down Master Yi here. He's trying to get away, he gets a nice heal. And, you know, I've got my stun up, so I stun and I spear throw and he is dead. Now because I've got my E ability, he actually um, dies because I've got 100% crit on my um, Q ability, which is fantastic. So we're actually heading down here now to recapture, well, to take over this because them um, people have died. Now at the bottom, we've still got Vayne actually um, processing now the bottom. And I don't know where Gangplank is. I think he might have disconnected at this point. Um, let's see. I think he has. Oh no, he was dead. Um, so he's actually coming back now. And that tower's definitely taken over, there's no doubt about it. There's so many minions, it's unbelievable. So, Gangplank, he should have really uh, moved from there. And we're actually chasing Master Yi here, but he does actually get away, which is unfortunate. And I'm thinking there's no point chasing him. So as my items, I'm getting uh, boots of mobility because uh, running as uh, Pantheon is, you need to be there, basically. You need to be in the action to do anything, really. Um, here... I'm running because Hammerdinger has got some insane abilities and I don't want to die, so I'm running away. Um, I was ready to use my W ability to jump on a minion to get away if needed. So up top we've got Master Yi, he's trying to take over this tower. Um, he doesn't actually do it because I level up and I get my R ability. And now I've got my R ability, I can jump in before he just takes it. And you're going to see some really cool thing here. Look how much damage that did. I stunned him. I spear striked him and I used my um, E ability and again he's almost dead and there we go he's dead and pretty much just owned him now Masi if he was a decent player he probably could have killed me but 
Here I'm trying to kill these Mias because they are taking that tower over ASAP and I won't be able to out take them, if that makes sense. Uh, so the buffs in the middle are very important. I don't know why people don't go for them, including myself. Um, I, don't th I think the villagers spawn actually, so I think that's where I go next. So the bottom, we're taking over this tower and Brand being a boss as he is, um, he's basically taking over this tower, which is what we need. We need people to run around the enemy and take towers that they're not defending. And then defend them towers, don't just run off because it doesn't make sense. Now if there's three or four people coming towards you, then run away. There's no point dying. Um, but yeah, here I get the buff, which is fantastic. And I go up top because I know Masty will be heading up this way. And as you can see, Masty is here. And he, he don't know what's going to hit him. Big stun, big hit, and a fail um, E ability there, but still he's sticking around. He got a heal, and I want to catch him up. Boots of mobility will help me out um, once I get out of combat. So I want to get into range, and he does. He kind of stopped here. I don't, I don't understand why he stopped. If he kept on running, he would have gone away. But still. Now, Asha Brand are taking over this tower, which is good. I'm going back up top to kind of defend. I'm not sure where I want to go yet. And at the bottom, we're basically four captain now. So we need one more to five cap on. And, you know, our tower is really high still, our Nexus even, not tower. Um, so let's see what's going on elsewhere. So they're actually all coming down and they're going to take this over. Brand's actually um, teleporting back to buy some items. And we've got a big fight down middle. So I go in and I try own um, Rise, but there's just too many of them and he's running towards the tower. So I go and try to save Ash because she is extremely low. And unfortunately, Ash does get away. She's really good at duking. And here I try to stun um, um, Vayne, but Gangplank doesn't come in in time and actually help me kill. So I actually die, but he does get Vayne. And here he does get Rise as well. But, you know, we could have done a lot better if he actually came in in time. But, you know, mistakes happen. Um, no one's perfect. So, that was my first death, which is unfortunate, but still. Um, so, I'm, I'm heading for, I don't particularly know what it's called. It's um, one that gives me spell vamp. I'd, oh, I can actually show you. Um, it's under attack, lifesteal, and it's under this, this, and this. Here, um, hex touch gun blade. I, I was aiming for that, but... Unfortunately, um, I couldn't get it. So here, I actually dive into the uh, battle. Ash with a nice um, ulti there, stopping him from taking over. And we just basically take uh, Master Yi down, as usual, and Ramos goes down slowly after. So the bomb, we've got a bit of a fight here. Um, Brand, you know, just taking out minions as he does. And they're pretty much holding that off. And I'm going over here just to see, me, well, just to make sure that no one's taking their buff, because if I can stop him from getting their buff, the less damage they're going to do overall. So I'm coming down here, I see Rise, and I want to get Rise, but he kind of dukes me. I thought he was going to come out, but he didn't. So I do a lot of damage to Rise, and I'm going to chase him down, but he just stunned me, so I can't stay on top of him. And there's three of them now, so I move away. Try to run away, I get the speed buff, I run into the bushes, and here comes Gangplank, awesome. And I do come, and then I jump back in, stun Vayne, and she goes down faster than a tie hooker. Um, no offense intended. <laughs> And here Hammerdinger's trying to get away, but I'm just staying in front of him, doing some damage, and I get him with a stun, and a Q, and he is dead. Pretty much over for Hammerdinger. Um, he's good at range, but as soon as he gets into melee, he goes down really fast. So here I'm on low health, not much I can do. And uh, Ramus is kind of trying to bait me in. I take off his tower, and I want to get away, because Ramus is going to come back. So there's no way I could take Ramus out by myself at this low um, level. I don't have any real abilities um, that I can use to basically penetrate his armor. So I'm trying to run away and actually do get away. Um, I use, you know, I get a health buff, which is really good because it does restore mana as well. I've got Master Yeet and Ramas chasing me. Nothing I can really do. I'm just going to try hide behind the tower. Now, I should have kept running, but I thought I'd stun Ramas and hopefully the tower would take him out. But unfortunately, I died. So I did kind of do well to hold it off, but. Here's Ash, and I believe Ash does an ulti. Yeah, she does ulti him, and, you know, <laughs> basically she protects the tower once again. So Ash is doing extremely well in protecting the top tower with me. Um, at the bottom, you know, we've got Gamplank going in, 
as usual, Gangplank is OP. <laughs> and here, you know, Ash would have died if I didn't actually um, go in and stun Master Yi. Because let's face it, Master Yi is OP as hell as a melee champion. His attacks are just so fast. Um, got Ramus again, stealing towers. I mean, if everyone played like Ramus in, you know, going around and stealing towers, they might have done better. Uh, they wouldn't have won because our team was phenomenal. As you see, Bran taking out Vayne. Vayne is a pretty OP champion as well. Really strong attacks because it's based on uh, physical damage. Uh, but yeah, um, it's actually coming to an end pretty soon now. Um, so we, we, you know, we don't need to worry about anything. Uh, we are pretty much golden at this moment. I did ping for Ash to come over here and to help me take this tower. I mean, why not? If we can fork happen, it's going to go even faster for us. And at the bottom, we've got a little bit of a fight. So Hammerdinger's going down. At least I hope he's going to go down. Go down, you midget. Yeah, he goes down. Vayne's here. Vayne's trying to get away. I'm coming in. And I do I stun someone. No, I don't get Vayne, but I do get Rise. I basically jump in, stun him, get a Q off, and he is pretty much dead. And because, um, you know, Pantheon is a bit of a beast, I could uh, block tower hits. So that's pretty good. And I actually jump over here to try to stop these from um, you know, taking over his tower. And I actually do kill Master Yi, I believe. Because he's just sitting around. And I do kill Master Yi, but they did cap the tower. And I would have killed um, Ramus as well. But unfortunately, the tower, they get capped. And they do do a lot of damage. Um, so, I guess that's really it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this match. Uh, we pretty much wrecked them silly. And if you like these League of Legends commentaries, please leave me a comment. And I will be sure to do some more with Pantheon because he's a really awesome champion. So again, thank you for watching. Um, like, favourite and leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe if you like this content. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.